This is where the US tested nuclear bombs during the Cold War. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're looking at the Marshall Islands, a country composed of 29 atolls and five isolated islands situated in the central Pacific Ocean. Join us and stay to the end to explore the geography, history, people and culture of this fascinating country. The Marshall Islands are a sprawling chain of volcanic islands and coral atolls in the central Pacific Ocean, with over 1,200 individual islands and islets. The Marshall Islands span over 750,000 square miles of ocean, yet have a total land area of only 70 square miles. They are located in the central Pacific Ocean, about halfway between Hawaii and Australia, the islands are positioned just north of the equator, making them part of Micronesia. The largest atolls stretch from east to west in two parallel chains of islands. The southeastern chain includes the capital atoll of Majuro. The northwestern chain contains the Bikini Atoll, the site of many U.S. nuclear tests. The Marshall Islands consist entirely of low-lying coral atolls and reef islands, the atolls were formed on top of submerged volcanic peaks, with coral growing around the summits over millions of years. The highest point in the Marshall Islands is only 33 feet or 10 meters above sea level. With no volcanic peaks remaining above sea level, the islands are extremely vulnerable to sea level rise. The Marshall Islands have a complex history spanning thousands of years of inhabitation, foreign colonization and nuclear testing. The Marshall Islands were first settled around 2000 BCE by Micronesian navigators. The inhabitants developed skilled seafaring abilities, thriving for centuries in these isolated atolls. Traditional Marshallese society was based around clans led by chiefs. Subsistence focused on fishing and agriculture the first European contact came with Spanish explorers in the 16th century. In the late 19th century, the Marshall Islands became part of the German colony of the Carolines. After World War I, they were transferred to Japan, becoming a strategic imperial outpost. The islands saw fierce fighting during World War II and were eventually captured by US forces. Along with Micronesia, the islands became part of the US-governed Trust Territory of the Pacific after the war. From 1946 to 1958, the US tested 67 nuclear weapons in the Marshall Islands, mainly on Bikini and Eniwetak atolls. Entire populations were relocated as the US pursued nuclear development, devastating the social fabric. Radioactive fallout caused health issues that still linger today. In 1979, the Marshall Islands signed the Compact of Free Association with the US, giving the islands independence in 1986. The Republic of the Marshall Islands maintains close ties to the US. Environmental impacts of nuclear testing remain an issue, as do sea level rise and climate change on the low-lying atolls. The population of the islands as of 2022 is around 41,000 according to World Bank data. The vast majority of Marshallese are of Micronesian descent, with some Polynesian influence as well. Many Marshallese have migrated to the United States for better opportunities. Historically, the Marshallese people followed a belief system that revered the islands and environment. Today, a majority of Marshallese identify as Christian, predominantly Protestant. Local forms of Christianity have integrated traditional beliefs about the islands and environment. Only a small percentage follow the native religion. The Marshallese language is the most commonly used language among the people in the country. The country has two official languages, Marshallese and English. As a former US territory, English is widely spoken especially among younger generations. However, Marshallese remains the primary language for maintaining local culture. With access to fresh fish, fruits and coconuts, 
Marshallese cooking has developed its own delicious flavors and dishes. Barramundi is a popular reef fish found in Marshallese waters. It is often steamed with coconut milk, onions, tomatoes, and seasonings into a dish called barramundi cod. This flaky white fish soaks up the flavors of the coconut broth for a tasty island meal. Sweet, ripe papaya and rich coconut cream are blended to create this refreshing Marshall Islands dessert. Shredded papaya is mixed with coconut cream and condensed milk for a cool treat. Vanilla, lime juice or nutmeg add complementary flavors. Macadamia nuts grow well on the islands and find their way into many dishes. Macadamia nut pie has a tender coconut and macadamia filling in a flaky pastry crust. Similar to pecan pie, it's a way to highlight island ingredients. The remote Pacific location and limited resources of the Marshall Islands have shaped its economy. As of 2022, its GDP is roughly $258 million, according to World Bank data. With no industrial or agricultural base, the country relies heavily on foreign aid and remittances. The economy of the Marshall Islands is extremely small and narrow. It centers around public administration, education and subsistence fishing and agriculture. The islands have few natural resources besides coconuts, seafood and scenic atolls that support a small tourism industry. The US dollar is the official currency. The largest industries are small-scale agriculture production and fishing, government services and tourism. Black pearl farming shows some growth potential. Copra production from dried coconuts was once a major industry but has declined. The Marshall Islands imports the majority of goods and food, running a large trade deficit. The Marshall Islands has close economic ties with the United States due to its former territory status. The US provides millions in aid and protects the islands militarily. Japan, Taiwan and Australia also contribute aid. Most exports go to the US, Asia and Pacific neighbors. With remoteness, lack of resources and environmental fragility, the Marshall Islands face major headwinds. Unemployment is very high. The environmental legacy of US nuclear testing also burdens the economy. Climate change poses an existential threat by raising sea levels. The remote and scattered islands of the Marshalls have fostered a resilient indigenous culture with tight-knit communities thriving through subsistence fishing and agriculture. Though influenced by missionaries and Western forces, Marshallese culture retains a strong connection to ancestral traditions and the island's environment. Marshallese culture developed around atoll life, sailing, and the communal village lifestyle. Oral traditions, storytelling, and intricate weaving skills were hallmarks of society. Chiefs led clans and oversaw communal work. The Marshall Islands see many celebrations rooted in island traditions and history. Events include sailing canoe competitions to honor seafaring skills and the annual Manit Day or Culture Day showcasing traditional dance and handicrafts. If you enjoyed this video on the Marshall Islands, you'll love this next one.